Hey guys, welcome to the Droid Guy channel. It can be a very challenging task in identifying and resolving network-related issues. Most of the time, running Network Troubleshooter is the very first step, but often error, such as there might be a problem with the driver for Wi-Fi adapter, appears as troubleshooting result. There are, however, solutions that you can do to fix this, and it will be discussed in this video. Follow the steps in each of the solutions in order to resolve this error. But before we begin, we would appreciate it if you hit the like and subscribe button for more troubleshooting videos. First solution, update driver. An outdate or corrupt network driver is often the cause for network-related issues or error to occur. Therefore, make sure driver is up to date to fix this error. To do this, press Windows key plus R on your keyboard. At Run dialog box, type devmggmt.msc and press Enter. Then, at Device Manager window, click Network Adapters to expand it. Right-click on the driver, and then click Update Driver from the drop-down menu. Select the option Search Automatically for Drivers. Once best drivers are already installed, click Close to exit. Next, restart computer. Once computer completely reboots, check to see if the there might be a problem with the driver for the Wi-Fi adapter error still appears. Second solution, reinstall driver. If the first solution did not fix error, you may need to reinstall driver. To do this, press Windows key plus R on your keyboard. At Run dialog box, type devmgmt.msc and press Enter. Then at Device Manager window, click Network Adapters to expand it. Right-click on the driver and then click Uninstall Device from the drop-down menu. Confirm Uninstall Process. Next, restart computer. Once computer completely reboots, check to see if error still appears. Third solution, Reset WinSock. The WinSock command is a very useful command to reset the WinSock catalog to its default settings. To do this, type command prompt at the search bar located at the lower left. Click Run as administrator from the drop-down menu. At command prompt window, type the command netch WinSock reset and press enter. Wait for process to complete. Exit command. Prompt window next. Restart computer. Once computer completely reboots, check to see if error still appears. Fourth solution, make sure WLAN autoconfig service is running. Setting WLAN autoconfig service to automatic ensures that the service will connect to the network when accessed. To do this, press Windows key plus R on your keyboard. At Run dialog box, type services.emsc and press Enter. Then at Services Windows, scroll down and locate WLAN autoconfig. Right click on the service and select Properties. At Properties window, Make sure startup type is set to automatic. Click apply to apply changes made and the click OK to exit. Now check if the error message still appears. And that's it. I hope this guide has been helpful. Please support us by clicking like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more troubleshooting videos.